For the past five months, we've been taking calls from people who think we hit their car. And this is because you people have been leaving notes on cars all over the U.S. and Canada, claiming that you hit their car, even though you didn't, hopefully, and asking people to call 425-243-7565, which is my phone number. So a ton of thanks goes out to all of you who've done this, and, you know, I really appreciate you giving me something fun to do. Uh, Quite a few of the calls have been made on our weekly prank call show, and I still need to go through old episodes of that and grab the calls off of them, so be expecting plenty more of these carding prank videos. All thanks to you guys. If you haven't done it yet, you should go out and put notes on cars for me, and they should read what you see on your screen there. This first call is the most recent one I've done. It's from a couple days ago, and it's all thanks to this guy in Oklahoma who's been leaving notes for me all week and calling me with updates on what kind of cars they are and stuff. So thank you, guy in Oklahoma. You're awesome. Hello? Hi, Sierra. Yes? It's Roy. I left you a note. Hello? Hi. Yes. Hi. Oh, what, what happened? I hit your car. Um, but it, it was, it was, um, I don't know. I kind of lost my mind because your car is just stupid and faggy. I hate it. It's ugly. It's an ugly car. <laughs> I just beat the shit out of it. <laughs> Sorry Fucking that my car is stupid and faggy and ugly. <laughs> who, who picks that color anyway? <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. Well, I didn't. I didn't see any dents or scratches or anything, well, I, so it, it's cool. I, I appreciate you I, leaving a note. I don't hit very hard ever, <laughs> ever since the surgery. So, well, uh, I should have set it yeah. on fire. If I had a lighter, if I smoked, and I, if I had a lighter, I would have set that motherfucker on fire. Jeez. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself driving that piece of crap. Ah, I'm so sorry. You should be. But no, I, I didn't see any damage or anything. Okay. Just horrible. So thank you for leaving a, a note. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Have a nice rest of the day, and I'm very sorry. That's okay. And you too. Th- think about, you know, trading that piece of crap in for something nice. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. Bye, Sierra. Right. Bye-bye. Roy, you ding my car. You have a note here with all your fingerprint on it. What's going on, man? All right, call me back. Six four four one eight one. Call me back. Bye. Hi, this is Roy. I left a note in your car, and I'm calling you back because of your message. Yeah. So uh, what? You think my car? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. What do you mean by sorry? Well, I'm apologizing. Wait, what's the problem with that? You ding my car, and you're apologizing. Well, what, what do you want me to do? You're you're getting you're, you sounds like you're really angry for no reason at all. I'm just I dinged your car and I was nice enough to leave a note. I don't see why you have to be a jerk about it. A jerk about it? What you ding with? What? What do you ding my car with? With my car. With your car? Yes, my car dinged your car. Your car dinged my car and you hit and run and you call me a, I'm a jerk. Well, I didn't hit and run. I, you just weren't around, so I left a note. That's proper car dinging etiquette. So that's a proper way to do it. Hit somebody's car and leave a note, and then you can leave. Yes. Well, I had my kids with me. I couldn't just hang out there all day. My friend, that's a very expensive car, my friend. Really? What kind is it? Is it an What's a- that? Is it an Audi? You hit my Mercedes, my friend. Oh. It didn't look like a Mercedes. It's kind of... So be- what? It looked like a TM to you? I, I don't know. I-, I-, I drive a Chevy. You drive a Chevy, you hit my car, and you say, leave my leave the note, it's okay. Yeah, well, I'm calling you back so we can make arrangements. Do you want me to give you my insurance information? My friend, my car is a $100,000 brand new. You hit that like that, and you run away, and you tell me... But I'm, ca- I'm, I'm calling back to give you insurance information. But with your attitude, I think I'm just not going to bother. I'm just going to hang up, and you'll never hear from me again. You just have to pay for it yourself. I'm pretty sure you can afford it since you drive a Mercedes. You hit me and you tell me to fix it by myself? Yeah. Could you just do that for me, please? Because, you know, you have more money than me, clearly. So I think it'd be best if you just fix it yourself. Where do you live, my friend? In the States or in Canada? I'm in Canada. I don't know how you get the idea that I live in the States. 
That was the dumbest. If you live in Canada, that was you a... hit my car and you run, you leave a note, you're thinking it's okay. Expensive car, I can try, I can afford to pay it on my own. Yeah, uh, you can afford it, right? So I'll just let you go now. So, so, so my car, I can afford it. Yeah, your car can afford it, but mine can't. I think there was more damage to my car. So I'm, I think I, I'm going to need your insurance information to pay for the damage to my car. So could I have your insurance policy number? Are you fucking not in the head? Yes, sir. Um, I need your policy number right now. I've got a pen and a pink post-it, and I'm going to write it down. You hit somebody's car and you ask for the insurance to pay for your car? Yes. You want to go to jail, this fucking guy? Which insurance company are you with, sir? Huh? I'm going to need your name, and which insurance company are you with? I'm going to fucking need your name. You know what you need my name if you think you hit my car. No, my name's Roy. I need your name and your insurance company's policy number. My friend, if you think you hit my car, you I'm I don't not, ask for insurance, you ask my insurance? Yeah, you I'm, fucking hit and run, my friend. I'm not your friend. I'm just some guy that hit your car. Can I have your policy number, please? I think you are something wrong. Wait for the cop to call you, okay? Bye. Bye. That last call and this next one were from Notes Placed on Cars by Samantha in Toronto. And this next call is Samantha calling the guy back, and not only did she leave a note on his car, but she placed traffic cones around his car and then took a picture of it, which is the picture that you see in the video right now. Hi, um, you left a note on my car. Can you call me back at 649? Um, I don't know. You left some note on my car, but I don't see any damage. So call me back. Bye. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Roy? Yeah, what's up? You're Roy? Well, it's pronounced wa. I'm wa? wa. Did you leave a note on my car about hit, hitting a car? Yeah, well, what kind of car did you have? You don't know what car. It's a Honda Civic. It was a gray metallic Honda Civic. You left a note saying that you hit it? But I don't see any damage. Where did you hit it? Oh, well, maybe the damage wasn't that great. Um, I'm just kind of trying out this. I'm, I might have hit it a little bit. Um, I'm, trying out, I'm trying out this whole new Buddhist thing where I, I got to tell everybody about all my, all my misdoings. And I might have hit it. I wasn't sure. I what do you mean to- you might have hit it? Because I'm going to report it to the police. So You've got to tell me what's going on. Well, okay, I, I smoked... If not, I'm going to report it to traffic services and, I, and uh, I Toronto Police. Split. I smoked a spliff, right? So I don't yeah. really know if contact was made or not, because, like, I was feeling vibrations. Did you put pylons around my car? I wanted to make sure nobody else hit it afterwards. I, like... I really cared. Like, I really... I'm sorry. You? Where do you live? Do you live in Toronto? Yeah, man. I didn't want to okay. call you from my real number because I don't want you to call the police. I'm... Yeah. Well, see, here's the thing. Like, I don't know where you hit it because that's what I need to determine. So you got to tell me exactly what happened. Well, I mean, I'm trying because to... Because even if it wasn't your real number, you could still find your real number. But the point is, did you how, hit the car you... or not? Well, I mean, I'm trying to tell you, man. I don't yeah. exactly remember, okay? I was high. You don't remember. I was high. the car not. I'm sorry? I was high. Okay, so you're driving under the influence, and you hit a car that you're not sure if you hit a boat. Hey, well, I think I did hit it, but I wanted to stay on the safe side. I got out. I wrote you a note. I put, pylon- mm-hmm. <laughs> I put pylons around your car so no one else would make the same mistake. And now you're fucking yelling at me like I, did, like I murdered no, your baby. No, I'm not baby. yelling. No, I'm not yelling at you, but I'm just trying to get the information straight. Did you hit the car or not? Well, I don't know how many to, times I have to tell you the same thing. You should be saying you thank have any you for the pylons. Car? You should say thank Did you Did you have any pylons. damage on your car? No. So then you don't know if you hit it even. Well, I think I felt a bump. A bump where? What's, what side like, of the I car think did I you felt my body hit? rise and fall as I went into reverse. As you went into reverse? Um, I noticed that you haven't said thank you for the pylons. Okay, what's your first name? Wa? Wa. 
Okay. Um, okay, I need to double check my car and I'll call you back, okay? Because I don't All know right. where this damage is, so I'll call you back, okay? I love you. Thank you. This is Jessica. Oh, hi. This is Roy. I left a note in your car. Hi, Roy. Hi. Yeah, I just want to know what happened. We weren't in this so long. <laughs> oh, I just walked by with a key and, like, scraped the side all up. Did zigzag lines. But then I felt bad, so I left the note. Well, well why did you do that? I, I'm just kind of a jerk, and I've been off my meds for a long time now. Okay. So, so you have insurance? Oh, no. I don't think insurance would even cover that. I mean, it's not like I was driving. I don't even own a car. So you were just walking around? Yeah, just walking around keying cars. But then I felt bad. I, I, I don't you know, understand. I, I just, I had a mood swing and then I'm like, scribble, scribble, wrote a big note for you and then I left. Actually, I ran away after I left the note. Okay. Well, how do you intend on paying for this then? I'm not going to pay for it. I mean, so it, you... The key didn't cut that deep, so it's not like that big of a deal really. Okay. Then that that that's fine. You obviously have, have bigger issues than yeah, yeah, you know than than, than king people's car. So yeah, well, thanks. do you do this often? Oh, pretty much every day. Well, thanks for being understanding, though. I mean, you know, Merry Christmas and stuff. Why even leave a number then at that point? Well, because uh, I'm apologizing. Isn't that nice of me? <laughs> that that's kind of useless, don't you think? <laughs> kind of. I'm just kidding. I didn't key your car. It's it's just like a, a, a fake note. There's no damage to your car, was there? Uh, well, there was just some paint chips on the door, so that, that's the only thing I could think of that, that anything, <laughs> but I didn't notice any major damage. That's why I was trying to ask you what happened. Oh, no. I, that wasn't me. Whatever that is, it wasn't me, I promise. That was a friend of mine left that note on your car and put my number in it. Is it like a joke? Like Is this yes. like a prank that he does? Yes, it's an immature prank. I don't think it's funny. Well, it's not, but it's like, it's, it's, you know, it's better than having your car keyed up by a psycho. So you have to look at it that way. Yeah. Cause I didn't see any keys, key marks on my car. So then I definitely thought that was not my car. So now you should just be, I don't know. You, you should just be happy and thankful that your car was never keyed up. I, how, that, is, that doesn't make sense. Someone should be happy and thankful that some idiot decided to leave a note on someone's car and make them think that it was damaged to their car, take time to call and then tell them a story, and then tell them, like, you should be thankful nothing happened? Yeah, aren't you? I mean... No, I'm not. This is a waste of my time. This is a waste of your time. Don't you have something better to be doing? This is like that scene in Fight Club where they pretend they're going to kill the guy, and then they don't kill him, and they're like, his breakfast will taste better tomorrow than it has ever tasted in his life. No, this isn't like that. It's exactly like like that. You You should be thankful. No, this isn't like that. They're, they're, people don't walk around just keying people's car randomly unless they do have mental issues. That's Nor do the they point. have people call them with a fake situation. Obviously, you have issues. If you're going to do that and think that somebody should be thankful, and especially if you're going to reference Fight Club. Are you some like kind of moron? <laughs> kind of, I guess. I have a very busy work life. I'm not even in the state anymore right now. I took time out of my day to see what the hell someone was talking about. I don't know what your issue is or what you got going on. But don't call this number again, okay. and you should probably try to get some help. Well, you can at least say thank you for not keying your car. So that's it for our third episode of Car Ding Calls. Be sure to click on the links to listen to our previous collections of calls. And once again, tons of thanks to all of you who've been leaving notes for me. I think it's awesome that this is like a group effort, and we're all working together to make people unhappy. If you'd like to leave a note, just uh, put the phone number on it, 425 243 seven five six five and don't get caught because i have no idea what will happen if you get caught you might get your ass kicked and i don't want to be responsible for that if you want to just put your own phone number on the note and record yourself uh doing a prank call of this then you can email me the call and maybe i'll put it up on here my email address is rbcp at phonelosers.org or, or you know just put a youtube video up of it and let me know and i will link to that video Don't forget to visit the website, phonelosers.org, and join our Facebook, facebook.com slash phonelosers. And damn it, share this video if you like it. Share the hell out of it. See you guys next time.